the heat's really building up, even all the animals are trying to hide in the shade for the most part. And with that in mind, what was going on today? Lots of interesting stuff. Where to start? I guess the first one is apparently there was a lot of, I guess, FCC filings for the DJI Avada. That's apparently supposed to be some kind of new, I guess, micro FPV drone. So what do we see in all these listings? For example, they had things like the labels and all, which you normally would expect with these types of, I guess, postings. So you can see here, what the DJI Avada, and there's this little what, diagram of the drone. In terms of a picture of it and so forth, that's been leaked pretty much throughout the couple of months and so forth. So you kind of have an idea of what it looks like. And some other details in these filings, there's things like, for example, the DJI Goggles. So you can see here with, I guess, some of the labels, the DJI Goggles 2. Is there anything, I guess, interesting you can learn from this besides the label? I think one thing I was looking at was the pictures, I guess, with the testing. I was like, what is this? Putting something like next to your cheek and all that. So looking at the pictures, there seems like there's the hardware itself, the goggles, and then whatever that is on the side, for example, like the antenna. And as you read further in the description, people that were testing it, it says here, users are able to access the information in no more than three steps in devices menu. The actual steps are swipe right on the touch panel to enter menu and select settings, about, and then compliance info. So it's just a matter of time until this comes out, will you actually be getting this? And I guess with the other news I read about drones, it was kind of interesting. Things like battery life is usually an issue. How about this one where it said there was a drone that basically keeps flying no matter what? It says here, after setting ultra endurance record, Army Zephyr drone keeps flying whether it wants to or not. The high flying unmanned aerial vehicle has been above Arizona for more than a month. So batteries and solar power, it says for the last 37 days, an unsettling spindly figure has been loitering far, far above us earthlings. But it's not a UFO for the Pentagon's new all domain anomaly resolution office to investigate. It's an army unmanned aircraft in the midst of setting an endurance flight record and no one, including the army, knows exactly when it'll come down. The Army announced Thursday that its ultra-long endurance stratospheric unmanned air system known as Zephyr had been flying for 36 days and counting, demolishing its previous 26-day record, but it's still up there in the sky over Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona, where it will remain until the weather conditions are ideal to bring it down. According to a press release from Army Features Command, the ongoing flight demonstrated the energy storage capacity, battery life, solar panel efficiency, and station keeping abilities that will further the Army's goal to implement ultra long endurance stratospheric UAS capabilities. The Zephyr, which has an 82 foot wingspan and weight just 165 pounds, can fly around 70,000 feet, according to the Maker Airbus's website. When will we start seeing things like this, I guess, for consumer types of drones? I can imagine that would be pretty good for things like a time lapse, for example, if you can just leave it up in the air and just start capturing stuff. I don't know what the noise and stuff is like. At the same time, in terms of weather, would it actually pass through various conditions as well? Because I would imagine it's really hot and sunny there. What happens if it starts, I don't know, raining a lot, as it does here, for example, when there's snow and all that? So I don't know if they already tested stuff like that. And a random question, I guess, for people who's been here for a while, if I've been contacted by this company kind of frequently in terms of testing out their drone, so to speak, but from what I see, it seems more like a beginner drone. But it makes me wonder, would you actually want to see some of that tested? Because it's kind of interesting where even some of you said before, when I used other companies' products, you're like, hey, I can't tell the difference or you think it looks better. So I don't know, should I try it? I don't know what I would kind of film because obviously these ones are more beginners. So they might be more for practice or for fun. Although they do have some that seems like it might be good for actual, I don't know, cinematic capture per se. Obviously not as great as the bigger companies, but it makes me wonder if I should test them in general. Baby squirrel?
never seen that in person before. A baby squirrel with no fur or anything like that. See you guys later.